All right, guys, not quite sure who is throwing that disc. Oh my gosh, that came out of nowhere. What's happening, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are out here today at BB Owen Disc Golf, and it's in Dallas. We were actually filming another video um, at Top Golf, and this was the nearest disc golf course. And Kelsey said she wanted to learn how to play disc golf. So we've kind of walked out to this open field spot at the course. We're gonna give my best effort at teaching the things, the fundamental pieces to be able to throw these discs for Kelsey. And then we're gonna have her play a couple holes. I'll probably play the whole course. We won't show all that on film. We'll probably just show her playing like three holes and stuff and see how she does. We do have her with the starter pack. If you guys are interested in starting, you can click the link down below for the starter pack. It comes with three discs, a heat, a buzz, and a magnet putter. And uh, we're gonna see how she does today. How are you feeling? I feel good, but you also told me that throwing an ultimate disc and a disc golf disc is very different. So maybe 50-50. Okay, so these are the uh, discs that we got. I've got two of each for her. So we've got the heat. This is in the ESP plastic. We got the heat again. And the, I think this is the big Z plastic. And then we've got the magnet. This is the Pro D. Yeah, these are both Pro D plastic for the magnet. I add a little flavor to her starter pack. The starter packs down below will not come with the Dark Horse buzzes, maybe in the future. If you guys want to see more of these, let me know. But we have these, which I think is also in the Big Z plastic. So we're gonna jump into basically throwing putters. The first thing I'm gonna have you do is actually throw it and see what I need to correct. Well, I was gonna just show you, you oh. have to have the right grip okay. first. Okay. The right grip. And I'm just going to show you a couple easy steps that I'm working on too right now that might help you. So the grip that I personally like is thumb on top. Your index finger is kind of just on the rim or just underneath it like that. And then these three fingers really can kind of spread out. It's the same thing in ultimate. There's not like a perfect grip. Some people will grip it like this. And this is more of like a power grip. Um, Paul, for example, when he putts, he puts with like all three of his fingers out like this. There's not a real exact way of holding it. You just really want to be comfortable, but something along the lines of where you're giving it a handshake. And then all we're going to have you do from there is stand to where your hips and shoulders are facing your target. Keep the disc kind of right in front of you. And then you're just going to rotate your hips, rotate your shoulders, and that's going to move the disc back. And then your hips are going to lead first. And as you can see, by moving my hips, the disc is already going without me even moving my arm. So you're gonna move your hips, let the disc move forward with your hip movement. And then at this point, you're just gonna pull through from left shoulder to right shoulder with your arm. Okay, ideally, that was a little high. So you probably wanna pull through lower abs here. And then at that point, you're just pulling everything through and finishing like that. So where am I releasing it? At the front or the back? No, you're releasing it when it gets to your right shoulder. So it's here, here, and then release. Okay. Now, in ultimate, the, the last thing, in ultimate, you want to have that nose up like this. Okay. In disc golf, you do not want to do that. Oh. This is going to go way left and short. So what you're going to do differently is you're going to put a lot of thumb pressure on the top, which will push the disc down, mm -hmm. because ideally you want to get that nose down when you throw. So that's the only thing is when you're gripping it, you're pushing hard with the bottom of your thumb and you're focusing on when you're releasing it, releasing it with the nose down and flat. See how it's not angled? Yeah. It's flat, nose down. Okay. This is nose up, nose down. All right. All right, let's see what you got. All right, Kelsey's first attempt. She's in a full parka, which is probably not the greatest gear for disc golf. She is assessing the situation now. Do you want to keep the full? Oh, she's taking the parka off, yeah. It's a little hotter than it was earlier in the day. So she is getting in full disc golf form here, guys. Okay. So let's see, let's see the grip. Heavy thumb pressure. Okay, that works. Heavy thumb pressure on top. Yeah. Right, heavy thumb pressure. Disc is right in front of you. Disc is right in front of you. Yep. And now you're gonna take it back by moving your hips, closing your hips and your shoulders. Not, nope, nope, I never brought, yep. You don't wanna bring it, a lot of people, that's a tendency is to bring it behind. Keep it out in front it'd be easier because now you're just pulling straight through here with your hips okay straight through that little okay. slot so practice just rotating your shoulders and your hips and then straight through the slot yep nose down though remember the nose down 
Yep, nose down though. Oh, okay. See now, see how um, you can see the logo on the disc? Yeah. That wasn't bad, okay. but you see when you threw it, we could see that it said magnet, yeah. right? That means you're throwing it and it's nose up because it's going like this. Oh. You don't want to be able to see the logo. That's how you know if you threw it nose down. Okay. If you can't see the logo, you threw it nose down. So really a lot of thumb pressure, I can already tell. And now do the same thing like that. Oh, it's close. Okay. All right, pick up those buzzes now. We'll do the buzzes. Still nose up with hyzer. All right. So I want you to really overdo the nose down and drive more with your hips, not your arm. Yes! Oh my gosh, there it was. Look how much distance that got. Oh, you yacked that one. All right, well, might as well do the heat. Moving fast. Okay, do you so feel- what's a different type of plastic? Yeah, so you can see- I can see it's like bubbled up. Yeah, and this one's like more of a see-through. You can kind of see through it a little bit and see how soft it feels in your hands. It's like kind of gummy. Now feel that one. That one's gonna be a little bit harder yeah. and not as gummy. So they fly, they, even though it's the same exact disc, the different plastics d do make them fly differently, but also at the end of the day, it's more about what feels good in your hand. All right, super heavy nose down, over exaggerate it. <laughs> These are tough. Drivers, drivers are a different ball game. All right, let's see it. Okay, nose up. That one buzz throw you had was your best throw. All right, we're gonna scoop them up and try again. All right, guys, not quite sure who is throwing that disc. Oh my gosh, that came out of nowhere. It's the largest disc I've ever seen. Yeah. Kelsey is on the fast track of disc golf. I'm just trying to give her a few foundational tips so that when she does play, she has a fun time. I'm not the greatest teacher in the world because I'm still learning. But one of the best ways of knowing if you know information is by trying to teach someone, so. And we always got chillaxed by a tire. Yeah, I, I, you saw that clip. That tire went all the way down there. It's that silver car right there. I don't know what the heck happened, but it just came straight off, so. All right, all right. so she's really gonna focus. Right now, everything looks pretty good. The only thing I wanna see, really, is that nose down. Oh, that was so close. See the logo? That was close though, so really overdo it. Oh, she's just going to get straight to the buzz. She was throwing the magnet, now she's going buzz. Oh, heavy, heavy nose up there. You're going back to Frisbee and you're trying to have this thing like on a crate, we call this a crazy hyzer. You're holding it like this. You have to throw it flat because if you throw it as a hyzer, it's going to want, it's going to make you want to throw more nose up. Okay. So flat, nose down. Oh, just still. It's one of the hardest things, guys. I taught her how to throw a Frisbee pretty solid. Oh so she's trying to break all the habits I've been trying to break for the last month. Okay, you got it's not easy. More. Okay, you got three more. Crazy nose down. Really put a lot of pressure on that thumb. All right, still nose up and hyzer. But those will all play when she comes to play. She's just going to be losing a lot of distance with the nose up. Overdo the nose down. Like, overdo it. Make it feel like it's going to be going straight into the ground. Oh, she turned it straight in to, no I mean, these are not bad throws. It's just with the nose up, you're losing a lot of yards. Because if you think about it, when the nose is up like this, it just stalls and it just fades. Where if the nose is down, it still glides forward. Rip with the hips, not your arm. Hips. Yeah, that was close. Little hyzer. All right. I think she is ready to go to the course and we're going to play a couple holes here. Okay, Kelsey, you're on the first tee. How do you feel about your training? Uh, Are you ready to go? Very rushed. Yeah, but it, 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 we didn't have the most time in the world. For as much as I got, hopefully I remember the last 15 minutes of yeah. my training. The biggest thing is just really keeping the nose down. You're going to go Dark Horse Buzz. We're here on hole number one. Again, out at, I believe it's B.B. Owen? B.B. Owens. B.B. Owens. And you can see it's playing about 410, 378. I'm not sure which pin it is, but it's dead straight, low ceiling, stuff on the left, stuff on the right. It's a little bit of a gap to start. Okay. I would say don't try to throw it hard. I would just say try to throw it straight. Okay. That'd be my best piece of advice. So like this. Yep, nose down and just focus on trying to hit it right through that gap. You can walk all the way up to the very front of the tee box too to get even closer. So the gap's a little bit bigger. There you go. 
Oh, okay. Nice little lucky skip there. You're out. Not a bad start. It's going to show me how things are done. Oh, booty out. Got to get the handy stretches in. Getting set up. And he rip cities it through the gap. Super low, first throw. Kelsey has found herself here. Do you want to go heat or buzz? I'd probably go... You've been throwing the buzz the best, so yeah. I'd probably go buzz again. You got to get the other one because that's your marker. Oh. Yep. So she's got the other one, and now you're ready to rip it. Now you can get a run up too. Have you been? Do you like doing the run up or no? <laughs> no. Okay. We'll just do stand still. Okay. okay. Stand still. Nose down. This one you can throw hard. Nose down. Oh wow, that was so good. That was your best one yet. Just a little bit too low. Dang it. Coming up on birdies, this. It's not He's good. He's going with the heat. No, nope, this oh, is his own. Forehand action. Running forehand? Just a little walk up. Ooh. Oh. Right off the tree. Dang. A little tree kick, a little tree love. First hole warm up. I'll take it. And with the buzz again. She's going three buzzes in a row. This might be a record for the number of bus buzzes. You can see the basket just up on the hill. I would aim right at those trees, right in front of you. The ones, yep, and try to go through that gap on the right. Oh, wow. Look at that thing soar. All right, you can putt there. It's a long putt, but you can putt. Yeah, the magnet's a putter. That's what you're gonna putt with. Okay. And you can see she's got a tree right in front of us, guys. So we did work on the straddle putt briefly, I would say, off camera. Yeah, like 30 seconds for 30 seconds so I think this is gonna be a straddle putt throw for her the goal is just to try to get the power to have it go forward oh okay you can make that look at the flexibility she could be a good disc golfer if she starts <laughs> training Brody up for his putt how far away do you think this is uh, I'm probably right on the edge of the circle probably close to 30 feet On the edge of glory. You get yak. Yikes. Well, that was a great warm up hole, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, your turn to make your putt. Here, you can put this down. You can use one of those as a marker. Whichever one. Just use it as a marker. Put it right in front, just like in golf. Well, actually, the opposite of golf, right? Golf, you would put it in the back, disc golf, you put it in the front. Yep, and you pick your putter up. You can drop the other putter if you want. Oh my gosh, that was almost a no chains basket. Very rare, but good. What was that, five? Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah, five. Yeah, not bad. Kelsey's second hole, we're okay. going, she's going with the heat, guys. This hole is the long tee position. It's 404, all the way down there, just below like the Texaco sign, I believe. Um, so she's just going to try to rip it. We're going to wait for this by guy the in the red. It's by the sonic sign. The son oh, it's by the sonic sign. I'm I, stay wait, so I stay corrected. Yeah, we're going to wait for the guy in the red just to move a little bit because he is in your prime zone of hitting. All right, everyone has moved out of her way. She is clear for takeoff. Oh, just a little too much hyzer, but that was actually not bad. She's got buzz in hand now. She's really focusing on the nose down. She's determined, guys. I love it. Oh, that was pretty good. A little nose up and a lot of hyzer, but other than that, pretty solid. I feel like I'm a little bit loose after the first hole. I've been doing everything standstill. I'm gonna slowly start trying to incorporate just a step. So I think I'm just gonna do that and rip it. So here, that and rip. Wow. That's up there, folks. Absolutely parked. With just a little step, I actually felt like I was getting so much more power. So that is the fun part, is once I start getting that X step, guys, once I start, oh, jeez, there goes the power. I almost fell over with how much power that was. <laughs> Are you gonna do a little walk up? Oh, okay, she's, yeah, because what basically the rule is you have to have your foot 
on release has to be a paper, like inside a piece of paper behind the disc. So you can walk up to it, but you just gotta make sure your foot is close enough to it. The, di the basket's still pretty far away from here. She's just gonna try to get one nose down. Just like that, that's pretty close. Oh yes, nice, great throw. Shot number three now. She's getting close, another one of those. She might have a putt. Oh, that was the frisbee throw coming back. Dang it. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Got to battle through it. Dang. She's going magnet here, guys. She's a little bit too far to actually make a putt from here. But this is more of an approach disc, something that's going to get her close. So you, oh, she's going before I even can talk. And that was a buttery biscuit right by the basket. This is a great hole. About as close as I thought it was. It looked like it. Uphill too. It looked like it. Well, you don't realize how uphill it is. All right, we're gonna see how far this guy went uphill. Oh, 365. That's great. That's not bad. Uphill. Better than the 50 yeah, feet. Yeah, because I'm like I'm like 30 feet short. It's about 400 feet. Yeah, that's about right. For a bird here, a little tweet tweet. Chain. Wow. Great job. Baby. Kelsey now with her tap-in. Two-hand tap-in swag. Was that another five? Uh, yes. All right, great hole. We got one more left. I want to see you try to go for a four. That's the goal, for a four. Final hole, par, I don't know what par, we don't even know what the pars are. My guess is they're all par threes, but this one's 381. Downhill, we're on top of the hill now, going all the way down to that basket. Yes, and she's I got, got dark She's butt. got the buzz. Is it that basket or is it this one? It's gotta be that one, right? That yeah, one right it's gotta be that one. All right, she's got the buzz, guys. She's ready to launch it. Let's see what she can do here. Oh, okay. A little bit of an ultimate throw. I can't get rid of that. Yeah, but here, here's the thing. If you focus on the next two with nose down, nose you down. can get close enough to the basket to where you can get a four. Okay. I'm gonna throw the buzz too, babe. Mine, You're gonna go a lot further than mine. mine my you know what my technique should be? What? Rollers. What? Rollers. Rollers? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> That'd be a good roller. All right. A little bit down, downhill, crosswind. I think the buzz is going to give me enough distance. And I got the little step now. So I think that's going to give me the, enough distance to get this down there. baby come back left like you want to hard left and way short not enough she's going back to back buzzes really focusing on the nose down to give herself the best chance of the four here oh that's going yes babe oh my god that's i think your farthest throw look how much better you're getting already kelsey has put herself in a perfect position here she's got the magnet in hand Probably, gosh, this is probably 90 feet, maybe 100. Oh, she is so good at that distance, guys. Another one just absolutely parked, almost hitting chains. Short I like game. The heavier ones. Well, they're all way about the same. Oh. They're all about 170 grams. Oh. It's just probably the feel of the magnet. The magnet is probably the most similar to an ultimate disc. Mm. So that's probably why it just feels. I like that one. Oh, we definitely skipped the hole. It's okay. We're playing oh. hole six. All right, well, we're playing we hole. played hole six. Our bad. We were on hole T. T okay. hole. Wait, we were on T six. Shoo whoop! Oh my gosh, go in. Oh, oh. no! So close. He All right, let's finish ready. up because we definitely skipped the hole, and now there's people behind us, and I feel kind of bad. Yeet. Good job. All right, Kelsey tapping in for a four. Heck yeah. Great haul, babe. Thanks. That is it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I think Kelsey had some fun. I had fun. You made a four. That was the goal, right? I feel like I tag along on every sport you play. <laughs> well, disc golf is one of those that you can definitely hop into right away and find some success. You know, you went five, five, four. Yeah. You know, that I mean, you already showed improvement on 
just a small little I'm sample no size. Beth, but. Oh geez, shout out to Hannah. <laughs> Some people wanted to see me and you versus Hannah and Paul. That is not a competition. Yeah, That's it's, not even a fair competition. It's not super fair. <laughs> we would probably need some sort of stroke situation, but that might happen in the future just as a fun vid video. Okay. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We had a great time. This is a fun little course. So I'm actually going to go out and get some practice in right now, but uh, we'll see you guys in the next one and keep slinging those discs. <laughs>